Today we're going to do an air compressor from Harbor Freight. So I just went and picked it up. My other air compressor went bad. This, they run a sale, $50, very budget friendly. And it came with a free tool of your choice. So um, very good deal. I'm going to get it out, set it up on a bench, and we'll unbox it and everything. This uh, Also, this is not going to be an air compressor for big jobs. It's only going to be your everyday person wanting to fill up a tire, wanting to maybe run a brad nailer. Um, so let's get it out and show it to you. Okay, so here it is. Couldn't pass up the deal. $50 air compressor and a half inch torque wrench for free. So that's a pretty good deal. This is my old Harbor Freight air compressor about 10 years old so i'm glad i was able to get this one this one's give out uh, seals are messed up i think i paid maybe 50 bucks for it 10 years ago so i'm not gonna replace anything on it i'm just gonna go ahead and buy a brand new one and hopefully get another 10 years out of this one so i'm gonna see if this one can do well pumping up tires and see if it can tackle my truck tires so we're gonna let out about 10 pounds of pressure see how quick it does it or fills it up so let me get it all unboxed and uh, we'll set it up on the counter okay guys here it is unboxed so here's your valve um, here's your adjustment so it's got the tank and the tool and here's your little instructions So, I like the size of it. It fits perfect on my workbench. So, I'm going to get rid of that one. And we're going to set this one up. Run a line out. See if it uh, will do its job. So, I may go ahead and also give you a time on how long it takes to fill up the tank. And possibly the recovery time. So, we'll see. I'm going to lay it all out. And we'll go from there. So I'll also look through here, make sure there's no break in. So I, I don't know if there will be or not, but um, if, if so, we'll break it in and try it out. So there was a break in on this. I went ahead and broke it in. So in order to break it in, you have to open this drain plug all the way open, and then you want to open your regulator all the way up. So, and it says you want to run it for 15 minutes. So I ran it for 20 just to be safe. So um, I've closed this drain plug back up and I have went ahead and kept my regulator open. That way we'll go ahead and get the pressure we need. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can set up a stopwatch and fill this thing up, see how long it takes to fill up and also give you a, a meter see how loud this thing is so let me set that up and we'll see how she does okay so i've got it ready to go i'm going to go ahead and start that and while that's going i'm going to step away for a second and i'm going to pull up the db meter and let's just see how loud this thing is. I know that standing here is pretty dang loud. Um, so, I'm going to get this close to it. There you go, putting around 90, 92. So, sucker is really loud. So, let me go back to the stopwatch and see how we're doing here. So on the stopwatch, we're sitting around 50 seconds. So right now we've got about 40 pounds of pressure. So I'm going to let that run. And when I think it's about to be done, I'll uh, bring it back up. All right. So it just cut off at 4 minutes, 11 seconds. So it does take quite a while to fill up. But, I mean, it's only, it's a pretty small motor. And um, so we're at right at 110 PSI. 
So um, about four minutes. I mean, it's a $50 air compressor, small motor. That's not terrible. So let me uh, drag a line out and uh, we'll uh, see how it does filling up tires. All right, we have let about 10 pounds of pressure out. So we're sitting at 32.5. So let me go ahead and uh, let's get the stopwatch going and see about how long it takes for me to do this. So I'm gonna start it and we're going to go ahead and add the pressure. And the air compressor has already kicked back on. So let's see if that uh, slows it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and check it. And so far, it's at 38. So I'm going to 42. I like to run my tires at 42. Uh, the inside the door it says 41, but I've got oversized tires, so I run about one more pound of pressure in there. All right, let's see where we're at. Forty-one point five, just a little bit more. Still forty-one point five. So it is struggling a little bit while it's trying to uh, get the air back in it. Forty-two point five. All right, so I'm going to stop that. So that took about a minute 23, and that's with me checking it. I'm sure there's other gauges out there where you can, uh, you don't have to switch back and forth. So it'd probably be a lot quicker if you had one of those. But uh, that's not too bad. A uh, minute 23 to get it up 10 pounds with a small air compressor. Like I said, it struggled there at the end a little bit. But um, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, guys, so there you go. Not a bad purchase. Not a bad air compressor for 50 bucks. And I've got a torque wrench that I have not used yet. So just so you know, I want to give you one last tip on this air compressor. Harbor Freight runs sales on the super coupons, if you will, on this air compressor. So it's usually $74.99. I bought it for $49.99. It goes on and off sale all the time. So wait for it to drop down to 50 and you will get it at that price. So that does it here. Hope you enjoyed this review of this little air compressor. And um, if you would like to subscribe, please do so. And also hit the thumbs up. And until next time, guys, see ya.